up party people and welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing a full face of dollar store makeup, specifically the Dollar General. Is it just Kentucky or is there a Dollar General like every five miles in your area? Dollar Generals are more rampant than like McDonald's. It's it's crazy here. Yeah, I've compiled a full face of stuff from Dollar General. It's mostly Believe Beauty though, so uh, it could also be called a full face of Believe Beauty. If you don't know, Believe Beauty is an in-house brand from Dollar General. It's exclusive to them. And I actually did a full face of them back in like 2019 or something whenever they first released. I'm gonna link that video up here if you wanna check that out. Tons of good finds. It's become one of my favorite brands over the last couple of years and just very consistent. Like I've, I've tried very few duds. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. First, let's go into eye primer. I have this Believe Beauty Lock It In Eyeshadow Primer and this is in the shade Universal. They also have translucent as well, but I like something that conceals a little bit more. So yeah, based on the way it looks I figured it would you know have some concealing properties this does give a little bit of coverage it's not like super opaque it's not like my essence olive stage eyeshadow base which packs a pretty good amount of coverage like it just it's a very subtle amount but it does cover up like veins and discoloration and just kind of allows you to start with a clean slate what I like about this is that it sets very fast and when it sets like it doesn't budge. I feel like if you have oily eyelids especially, you're gonna love this because it actually sets on its own. Like it almost sets to be like a powder finish. So for eyeshadow, I have another Believe Beauty product and this is a palette. So this is the Sultry Sunset Palette and this is a new shade from them or a new palette from them. The Believe Beauty eyeshadow formula is freaking banging. Yeah, I really wish they would expand and do like every color story imaginable because this is seriously one of the best drugstore eyeshadow formulas I've ever tried. So yeah, here's what Sultry Sunset looks like. So it's just a basic like warm tone palette. These two shades on the end, this gold and this red are both shimmers, but everything else in the palette's matte. And let me just say that it's hard enough to find like a really pretty shimmery red or any kind of red in general on the high end side of the market, like let alone at the drugstore. So here are four of the five shades. The only thing I'm missing is that matte like ivory shade. I feel like the shade selection is very on point. Like they, they pair really, really well together. And I mean, look at that. Like that does not look like a $5 palette. And again, that red shade is just so pretty. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is set my eyeshadow primer. And again, you don't have to do this with this primer, but I mean, I have a matte like skin tone powder kind of shade, so why not? I'm just gonna lightly wash this all over the eyelid up to the brow bone. Okay, so I'm gonna take this matte warm tan and just put that in my crease. It blends out so nicely. It's so soft and pigmented, but it's not hard to work with. Like you don't have to be scared of picking up too much product on your brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into this really pretty matte, like pumpkin orange kind of shade. I'm just gonna put this in the socket in the outer V. Summer loving, have me a blast. So now I'm gonna go into this really pretty shimmery red. I'm gonna put that probably in my outer V. I'm just gonna put this on with a fluffy brush because I don't want to be like too packed on there. I'm actually gonna do my little shimmery eyeshadow hack in a second. Why is red so pretty? Why is it so pretty? I'm gonna take this shimmery gold and put that on my inner corner. And then I'm gonna go back into that transition shade and just touch that up too. All right, for my brow bone, I'm gonna do what do you think? All right, so before I go into eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and do my little like setting spray eyeshadow shimmer trick. I actually have a video on this, so if you wanna see why I'm doing this, I'm gonna link it up here. Make sure you check that out. Very cool hack, you, you need to try it. All right, so for eyeliner, I'm gonna do the matte brown shadow in the palette. I've really been into just doing eyeshadow as liner lately. Like I just love the look of it, especially brown. I do have an eyeliner from Believe Beauty, which I can't remember if I talked about this in my original Full Face of Believe Beauty video. I feel like I did, but I'm also not 100% sure. I might use this just to kind of like, I'll give you an update review. I'm just gonna take this on a flat definer brush and just put this on the outer half of my lash line. And I keep it very, very close to my lashes. Like I don't go very thick like I used to. And then on the end, I just kind of flick it out a little bit. Just for a little added something, something, just to use something else. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Believe Beauty eyeliner. So this is the long lasting eyeliner in the shade Caviar, which is just the black shade. This is one of the richest like jet black shades I've tried in an eyeliner. Like it just looks like, like, charcoal and just glides on so effortlessly like it doesn't tug it's very very creamy like i usually have to hold my eye taut just to prevent the skin from wrinkling but with this i really don't have to do that it also blends out nicely too like it doesn't set up too fast all right so for mascara i don't have a new one but my favorite mascara that you can get at the dollar store is the maybelline lash sensational that is one of my favorite mascaras of all time i actually just repurchased it like two days ago but i don't really want to open it because i have so many other ones i need to use up before i you know keep opening new mascaras so just just imagine I'm using this one. But I do have a couple from Believe Beauty and I know I talked about this one, but I'm not sure if I showed this one in my original Full Face Believe Beauty video. So we'll just, 
We'll use them both. This one's called the Voluminous and this one's the Extended Lash Lengthening Mascara. So I actually don't really prefer these for my top lashes just because they don't really do enough for me, but I actually have been using these for my lower lashes. The Voluminous one is actually pretty dry, like it's almost about to be in my empty box. So yeah, I feel like the Voluminous formula definitely does do more volumizing and thickening and this one, the Extended Lash, definitely does more like defining and lengthening. <laughs> All right, so there's one layer of the Voluminous Mascara versus nothing on this side. And I mean, it's not horrible. Like there are a lot of times, especially whenever I want a more natural look where I'll use this and be completely fine because it definitely does give you a very black look. I feel like a lot of cheaper mascaras are very light and they just, they're not very pigmented, but this one's a very like jet black formula. So I like that about it. And I mean, it does give like a very thick, fluffy look. It doesn't really give a lot of length, but as far as the volumizing and like thickness department, Pretty dang good. So on the other side, I'll do the extended lash just to show you the difference. There's one layer of the extended lash mascara and I actually, I actually kind of like that one better. That's not that bad. What's really cool about this wand, which you don't see in a lot of cheap mascaras, but the wand is like, it's got different shaped bristles and like a different length of bristle on each side of it. So on like the left side over here, the bristles are longer and they'll look more spaced out. And then the other side, they're a little bit shorter and like closer together. So it's gonna give you more thickness and volume on this side and then more length and definition on the other side. So actually, instead of mixing them, I'm gonna really try to build them up. Okay, you know what? That is actually giving me quite a bit of volume and lift. And it's like, that's super black. That's not bad. It's getting right at my waterline, like right at the base of the lashes. And it looks like I've applied an eyeliner in the waterline up there. So that's, that's pretty impressive. I'll go back to the other side, which is already, it's already dry. So this probably isn't gonna build up very well, but I'm gonna try. These are both pretty dry formulas though. So there's a limit on how much you can build it up and how much you can layer them. Okay, so I'm getting to the point where it's actually starting to flake cause it's just, this one's way too dry. I've had this for a while too. So it's, yeah, you're not supposed to keep mascaras past like six months. And I, I think I'm on like <laughs> two years. All right, so my skincare's had time to absorb now. So let's go into my face products. So the primer, I have yet another Believe Beauty product. This is the Radiantly Primed Face Primer. So I believe they have a couple different shades in this. I think they have one that's more bronze and might be it. So it's just like an illuminating dewy kind of primer. It has a really, really pretty like warm, goldy kind of champagne tone though. So I feel like this would work for pretty much every skin tone. Like if you're a deeper skin tone, I don't think it'd be too light for you. But if you're like super fair, I don't think it would be too dark either. Like it would just give you like a little bit of color. But once you start applying it, it just meshes into your skin and just makes your skin look really radiant and dewy. I actually really like this. It's a little bit thicker than like say the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Like it, that was a little bit more runny and liquidy. And this one has a little bit of like a little, bit of, a little bit of grip, a little bit of thickness to it, but you can't see any obvious shimmer particles or anything. Like you can't see like chunks of glitter or shimmer on your face. It just gives you the prettiest, healthy, radiant dew without being like overly dewy or greasy looking. It does set, like it doesn't stay feeling like super oily or anything, but like it gives you a little bit of tack and a little bit of grip for your foundation too. By the way, I have oily skin. I should probably mention that. All right, so to apply my foundation, I'm gonna use the Believe Beauty Makeup Sponge. Hopefully you can see that whenever you wet it, like it inflates to be like a freaking hot air balloon. But I really like the shape of it because on either side it's flat, which I love a flat sponge. I just feel like it just gives you better coverage, but it's also got a flat top. So you can kind of, you know, get in the inner corner. You can get in like, crevices better and stuff, or if you, you know, you could bake if you really, you know, if you're into that kind of witchcraft, but this is a pretty dense sponge. I mean, it's very soft to the touch. Like don't get me wrong, the material is very soft and very high quality and it feels nice on your face, but it's so dense that it kind of feels like you're like slapping your face with a brick. I definitely wouldn't repurchase this. So for foundation, this is one of my favorite foundations of all time. Not just at the drugstore, not just at the dollar store, but seriously ever. So this is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing Foundation and this, this is it guys. It's called Truly Matte, but it's not really like a super matte finish. Like I would say it's like a demi satin matte, but it just gives you the most beautiful, moussey, airbrushed, smooth kind of finish. And it lasts literally all day long. So I'm gonna mix a couple of shades together. So I have natural, which is my everyday like pale, no tan kind of shade. So I'm gonna mix it with soft beige, which is my summer tan shade. Now I'm seeing a little bit of that glow from the primer underneath the foundation. Like usually it's not, as glowy as what it is right now, which I mean, it's not super glowy. It's just kind of adding a little bit of sheen to it, which I do like. But I don't care what kind of skin type you are. Like this foundation will work for literally everyone. If you have dry skin, just don't set it because it does set pretty well on its own. And I have oily skin and I just set my T-zone, but I don't, I don't even have to set it. Like it stays put all day long even without setting powder. I'm literally having to hold this sponge with all five fingers just to 
<laughs> just to grasp it, it's so big. Hopefully you can see just how velvety smooth it looks on the skin. Like it just looks like airbrush makeup. So for concealer, I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie. This is a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which you can find at the dollar store. This is a concealer that I've had in my collection literally ever since day one. Like I've always had a Fit Me Concealer in my collection. So right now I'm using the shade Ivory, which is a little light for me, but we're going to use it anyway. It just layers so well. And for me, like it just never looks dry, cakey, or powdery under my eyes. I will say with the first layer, this is more of like Let's say like a lot to medium coverage. You can build it up, but you can't really ever get like a super full on kind of coverage. All right, so there's what one layer looks like. So, I mean, it covers up pretty well. I mean, like I said, I've got pretty dark circles. So, I mean, it covers up a fair amount. I actually like to usually let it set on my skin for about maybe a minute or two before I go in and start blending it out just because I feel like the pigment kind of absorbs and you'll get better coverage whenever you let it sit. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit right there where my like, concaveness is concavity concavity Co I don't know. all right so i've sat here for a good amount of time so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out oh i can't i can't get in there that's what he said yes i know i'm 12. all right so there's a concealer so yeah definitely let it set if you want more coverage with it but i love this formula like it's a, it's an og shoot i forgot to use the Ugh. i have a dark circle corrector and i didn't <sighs> i may put a little bit on and then go over it with some more concealer so we can have like 20 more layers of my skin. This is the Believe Beauty Brighten Up Color Corrective Concealer in the shade Light Medium. So it's just... This is just a peach color corrector, so you can put this on your dark circles and it'll help counteract blue and purple tones. Yeah, it doesn't really do a whole lot for me as far as canceling out my dark circles. It just doesn't really give enough coverage. It's thick, but it just doesn't really pack a lot of pigment. So, I mean... Can you tell anything about that? No. You're supposed to put this on underneath your foundation and concealer, but I have dementia apparently. Now, if you're someone that's never used a peach color corrector before and you just want to dabble just to see if it works for you and to see if you want to, you know, continue to buy them, then I mean, it's cheap. It's, it's worth a shot. It's not horrible. It's not a horrible formula or anything. I haven't really tried a lot of peach correctors to be honest, so I really... I can't compare. So before I go into powder products and stuff, I do have one liquidy like highlighter type product. So this is the Believe Beauty, I know. It's a Believe Beauty video pretty much. All over Glow Skin Illuminator and this is in the shade Forbidden Kiss. I believe they only have one other one which is like a bronze shade. So yeah, it's gonna be for deeper skin tones. But this is literally just like the Cover FX Hotter Drops, what are they called? And this shade is just like that one really popular shade. I think it was called Moonlight or something. Yeah, it's just a little squeezy too, but it comes in a pump, which is really nice. And here's what the shade looks like. So once again, this is in the shade Forbidden Kiss. It's pretty thick, so you don't really need much of this, but here's what it looks like. So, I mean, it gives you a ton of glow. Like it does give you that really like high impact metallic kind of foil finish. It feels like butter. Even though it's pink and I typically don't like pink highlighters, like they just don't mesh well with my undertone and stuff. I actually feel like this does mesh pretty well into the skin. So, I mean, look at that. Hell, glass skin who? I'm like a dumpling, I wanna shine away. And it doesn't dry too fast where you have to work really fast with it or it starts like, what's that word? Coagulating? Where it starts drying on your skin and you can see like where it's pulling the foundation underneath. But this one doesn't do that, so yeah. I like it. So moving on to powder products now. So I have a bronzer, a new bronzer from them. So this is the Sunstruck Marbleized Bronzer in the shade Toasted Bronze. They have three different shades in this. And whenever you first get it, they all have like a lot of glitter or like a lot of shimmer you can see in the on the top surface. But one thing I really don't like about Believe Beauty's cheek products is that I've picked up products that are the same shade name, but they look like two different products. Like one could be like, say it's a peach shade. One could be a peach shade. One could be like look like a highlighter. And I've seen the same thing with the bronzers too. So you can look at two shades that are called the same thing, but one could look darker or one could have more glitter or shimmer. Like it's just, it's really weird. So anyway, here's what this shade looks like. So once again, this is toasted bronze. But as you can see, it has a slight bit of sheen to it. So I just feel like a sheen bronzer just makes your skin look like more realistically bronze. I feel like a matte bronzer just doesn't look realistic. But here's what it looks like on the back of my hands. So I mean, it looks pretty dark when we swatch it, but honestly, it's it's not that dark. Look how pretty that glow is. Like it just, it's just radiant. Like, did I just get back from a cruise? I think so. That is beautiful. Like it just blends out so easily. It's not like, even though it's too dark for my skin tone, it's not hard to work with. Like it just melts right into the skin. And it has just the right amount of glow to it to where it doesn't look like oily and greasy or like too shimmery. Like it just makes your skin look a freaking phenomenal. So for blush, I have a new one as well. This is the Believe Beauty Major Monochrome Matte and Shimmer Blush Duo. This is in the shade Galavanter. And I think this is trying to be like the, 
What's the brand that has the blush duos where there's, I think they just got discontinued. I, I think it was Cover Effects, but here's what this one looks like. Is there a dupe? Uh, editing Ashley, can you find me a dupe with Cover Effects? I can't hear my future self, so I don't know the responses. So it's got half of like a matte, or not really a matte, it's like a satiny blush, and then it's got more of like a highlighted tone. But this is a really pretty like deep terracotta peach. I will say with a fluffy like blush brush, like a typical blush brush, it's really hard to get your brush in just one shade. So either you mix them or you have to like pinch your brush and just like get like a little line in your brush there. So I don't really like the packaging. I just, I wish each side was a little bit bigger if they were gonna do it. Here's a satiny shade, here's the shimmery shade. So yeah, very, very pretty. So you could use one as a blush and one as a blush topper or a highlighter. But for me, the dewy, the shimmery side is just too dark for a highlighter. So I have to mix them together. Here's where they look like swatched. So yeah, isn't that pretty? Like that's just so unique, especially for the drugstore, especially for the dollar store. First, let's go into the satiny side and just show you what that looks like. The yeah, very pretty color. It's not over the top. It's very natural. Now on the other side, let's do the shimmery side. And let's see what that looks like as a blush. Cause I've only ever tried this mixed in with the other shade and also as a highlighter. Ooh. Wait a minute, that, mm, that's really pretty as a blush. I freaking love that. These are pretty mixed together too. So that's what it looks like mixed together. So it's a little bit more toned down. And then when you wear it by itself, it's just like, boom, beautiful formula. All right, so for highlighter, yes, I have more highlighter, more shimmer. So this is also new from Believe Beauty. This is the Luminizing Glow Trio in the shade On Cloud Nine. So yeah, look how pretty that is. So you have like a goldish whitey pearl shade. You have a more like pink toned champagne and then a more gold toned champagne. So here's what they look like on my hand. And I mean, it's very buttery, you know, pigmented, but not too pigmented and soft. Like they feel very high quality, pretty much like everything else from them. I felt the shade selection is pretty on point, especially for a more light skin tone. It's gonna be hard to tell much about these because I have so much glow going on already. I'm just gonna use that more natural champagne tone and just put it right on the top of my cheekbones just for a little extra, like a little extra pizzazz. I will say something I do remember about using this is that it didn't emphasize texture. It didn't look, you know, too shimmering on the skin or anything. I mean, that's the thing. Like, it, like there's not really obvious shimmer particles in here. Like it's just a really pretty do. So moving on to powder. I believe Beauty Matte Blur Loose Powder in the shade Translucent. They also have a darker shade that I think I call like a translucent medium or translucent dark, something like that. And I actually saw someone in a beauty group that I'm in on Facebook say that this is like their holy grail go-to powder, especially for oily skin. I will say this is very, very soft and finely milled. Like it's one of those powders that whenever you rub it between your fingers, it almost starts to like dissipate into thin air. It definitely does blur your skin and just makes your skin look so velvety soft. But I actually prefer this more for my under eye area just because whenever I use it for my T-zone or like to set my entire face, I just don't find that my foundation actually holds up throughout the day. For me, I just get shiny and oily with this usually. So yeah, I just have to be very like precise with where I put it. Now it could just be the foundations that I've paired it with, but it just seems like it's an ongoing problem. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not giving up on it yet though. With this foundation, I really don't have to do a lot of powder because it sets on its own. I don't I don't need extra powder. And I don't know if you can see, but my pores, like my pores were pretty minimized and blurred anyway, but this just, it just makes your pores look so soft. It just makes your skin look so blurred and like filter-like. I mean, it's a beautiful powder. So I would say everyone needs to check it out, like no matter how oily or dry you are. So for my lips, I don't have a product that would match what I've got going on in my eyes right now. I have a cool tone like mauve pink and I'm gonna go ahead and use it just to show you and talk about the formula and stuff. So this is the Believe Beauty Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Foxy. I'm personally not into a matte liquid lipstick. They're just way too drying usually, but I will say this one is like minimally drying. So it just has a flat, like flexible petal applicator like this. It's a really pretty dusty mauve shade. Like it's a very beautiful color. Yeah, it's not super drying. I mean, I still prefer a lip gloss on top just because I don't I don't like matte, but it's pretty good for a liquid lipstick. So for lip gloss, I'm just gonna use a clear shade. This is from LA Colors. This is the Eye Pigment Gloss. And again, it has just a flat petal kind of applicator. And I actually really do like this formula. It's not one that plumps or tingles or, you know, gives you any kind of cooling sensation or anything. It's just a basic clear gloss. The formula and the feel and the smell really remind me of the Fenty Gloss Balm. It has that like sweet vanilla kind of smell and it has the same amount of shine, the same feeling on the lips. Like it's not too thick. It's not goopy or sticky or anything, but I actually feel like it really does improve the wear of my lipsticks. So, I mean, look at that. That's, that's beautiful. I actually might keep this on, even though it doesn't really match. I kind of, Kind of like that. Last, but certainly not least, we have a setting spray. Now, one of my all-time favorite setting sprays is the original Believe Beauty setting spray, which I talked about in my original video, but they have a new one. So lo and behold, we have it. This is the Master It Matte Makeup Setting Spray. And this, this is it. It has a really nice fine mist, just like the original setting spray, which again, if you want more of like a dewy, satiny kind of finished setting spray that also improves the wear of your makeup, you need that one. Now, typically, I'm not someone that likes a mattifying setting spray, but I have oily skin, so I have to be careful with setting sprays that make my skin glowy 
because it can also make my skin, you know, greasy and shiny throughout the day. This is mattifying in just the right amount. It's like it just mattifies the areas that you need it to mattify. It's it's so weird. It's almost like it's time released. Just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, the other day when I first tested this, like it was a very, very long wear day. I think I'd had my makeup on for like 12, 13, 14 hours at that point, like whenever I looked in the mirror and stuff. And typically I would be like super shiny and greasy by that point in time, but my makeup that day, it was matte, it was soft, my face still looked blurred, like everything I stayed put so well. I still had glow on my cheeks and stuff, like with my highlighter, but in my T-zone, like where I'd be getting greasy and oily, it's like the setting spray just kind of like zapped it, but kept everything else looking radiant and glowy. Like that, I don't know. Look at my skin right now, like it's still so glowy and radiant, but it's not like overboard and it's not overly mattified either. So, I mean, it's a good day. Whenever you have a good makeup day, you know it's gonna be a good day in general. So let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite product from Dollar General? And also let me know what your favorite product from Believe Beauty is because I'm all about Believe Beauty. Like I am obsessed with it. So give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more Dollar Store makeup videos like it, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and turn that notification bell on to always see my stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.